Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to watch another wonderful hoof trimming video. This hoof, as you can see, has a little bruising, but in turn trims up real nice. As you can see in that bottom toe, there is an ulcer. In this video, what I'd really like to show you guys mostly is how this ulcer protrudes through the corium as well as through the dead hoof horn that I will be trimming off. A lot of times when we see these ulcers, it is laying underneath of the hoof horn and not all the way through it. This one is actually punctured through the hoof horn, which in turn may be because it, caused, it was caused from an outside type injury. So while we're trimming out this ulcer, one thing to take note of is that while I'm trimming away the separated sole, I'm trying not to bump that ulcer, but you can see that the ulcer is already through that separated sole. In turn, when we take this hoof off, that sole ulcer will actually protrude. Now, protruding ulcer isn't a bad thing per se, but it does put us in a dilemma of how we are to get that ulcer to recede and create a nice flat sole once again. Now let's zoom in here for a second and take a look at what actually is going on. You can see where the sole is separated and where I'm trimming out, but you can also see that that sole is separated right next to that ulcer and it's very, very tender. When any ulcer or any lesion protrudes through the corium, it will always bleed. The corium is alive and therefore contains blood. So we do our best not to bump the corium, but it is a fact that when live tissue is disturbed, it will bleed. As you can see here, we're getting closer to finishing up the process of removing loose horn off of that sole. Now the horn underneath is not damaged. That is all good sole horn, which in turn will get hard very quickly and become a proper weight bearing surface. The only thing we really have to worry about now is that ulcer. We need to make sure that we remove that extra little bit of hoof horn from that ulcer so it's no longer pinching and creating what we have already called a protruding ulcer. The whole, and here you can see, when I lift the sole horn off of that ulcer, how it does actually protrude underneath. Right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that is not pinching. We're going to clip that off and clean this wound up so we can prep it for wrapping. As you can see, I did not cut the sole. It is just simply where that ulcer and that sole horn was pressing into that lesion. This sole will heal up in no time and that ulcer will recede without much problem. Like any ulcer or any white line lesion, we apply the block to take weight off of that opposite toe. It acts more or less as a crutch for the cow, so she, she is able to put full weight on that limb. The steam is actually from where we had heated up the cow and then sprayed the moisture onto it and it's just evaporating. It's a very cold day, so it's very obvious. I hope you all enjoy watching these videos and are learning something. And I appreciate you all who follow me. And uh, keep the questions and comments coming. And have a wonderful day.